Start stream. Alright, we are live in the chop shop. Uh, I think. Unless something. something weird is. What are you not doing? Oh, you're getting a notification that yep. I'm live. Alright. Cool. So, uh, there's my live stream. I'm going to have to open my own live stream so that I can see any chats that occur. Now, usually I do a live stream fairly uh, late at night, uh, but today it's something different because we've got a special guest in the house. Um, I assume that most of you people are probably going to be at work or something, so I don't, know, I don't even assume that anyone's really watching right now. Um, but uh, I can't even find my own live stream videos live now. Where's my? I don't even know where. I don't even know how to get to my own live stream, guys. Uh, riveting, riveting viewing. So how do I? That's muted. Um, it's been a while. There's only two people watching. I should open the chat window. Turn that off, otherwise you're gonna get yeah, echoes. Yeah. All right. Um, I always start chatting too quick. Yeah, well, I mean, hey, look, I've been faffing around for the last God knows how long just trying to get this thing set up. So, uh, you know, I think I can break this out, pop out. All right, that's good. Pop out chat. Hey, there we go. That, that works. I've got that screen there. That also works. All right, sweet as. Welcome to Please Fix My Blaster episode one billion. Uh, this is a vector. Uh, you guys are probably familiar with vectors. Uh, what's the go with my vector? It's not mine, but you know, hey, whatevs. Uh, it is broken, and I know exactly what's wrong with it, but uh, if you guys have a vector and you come across this situation you might uh, you might recognize it and then you might be able to fix it all right get a load of this I'm hooking the battery up uh, we've got it in single shot I'm disabling the safety and I don't know if it's loaded or not. It doesn't have a mag, but you know, whatever. This is what happens. Watch. You ready? And you got to pull the battery out to stop it. So, uh, for those of you who have ever seen that, you'll know exactly what it is. Um, for those of you who haven't, if you if this happens to your vector, I'm about to show you how to fix it. All right, start by stripping this down. I'm just going to take this rail off the top here because we don't need that. Thank you, Nini. All right. Um, what causes this to happen is the there's a select switch, or not a select switch, sorry. There is a um, sector switch which uh, flicks each time the... Um, sector gear rotates around it and that's what lets the MOSFET know that it's fired one shot and if it's set to single shot it'll stop the motor if it's set to three shot it'll wait till it's hit that switch three times before it stops the motor and if that switch doesn't get hit one time or three times it will never stop and in the case of this particular blaster the gear has stripped on the, I, I think it's the bevel to spur gear has stripped, so it's never spinning the um, the sector gear, so it's never hitting that switch, and um, 
It's just sitting there turning the gears into molten plastic. Who's... <laughs> Hi Andrew. What's up? Getting messages. Alright, we're going to pop out the uh, spring and get into this. I think it's this size. Yep, that'll do. Now, um, shouldn't take too long to fix, so I'm just going to replace it with another nylon um, bevel gear and probably the spur gear as well because it's probably molten plastic in certain areas. Has anyone seen that one happen before? Has anyone had that happen to them? It's a bigger mess than my life. say maybe a um, I think it's a 1.4 in there uh, okay um, can you pass me my verniers mm -hmm. they're underneath the bag of snakes all right I was kind of expecting you to pass me a snake instead of the verniers all right so Go to one point. It says one point five. One point five. Holy moly! You guys seeing that? It's one point. I think it's a one point five. Oh no, one point three nine. One point four. All right, cool. It is one point four. So that's what was in there, and that's uh, a lot of the reason why uh, this thing has turned to mush. But you know, we push on, get rid of that. So this is the switch that I'm talking about, the switch that is in question. Let me, uh, no, 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 let me find the angle, angle of the dangle. All right, this is the switch here. So basically this has to flick every revolution of the sector. If you find your blaster is firing repetitively and not stopping, or maybe taking, like you put it on single fire, you pull the trigger and it's like firing three or four before it actually stops, like there's a bit of a lag between when you let go of the trigger and when the thing stops firing, check this switch um, because you got to make sure that actually, sometimes I've had to bend this little metal tab to make that work properly. That's not what the problem with this is. The problem is the gears are stripped, so that's another separate issue, but we're gonna deal with that now. All right. Have to get the loads of tiny screws out. You got like the loudest notifications ever. Yep. Put it on mute. Yeah. <laughs> Can you mod a G36? Um, yeah. You can mod anything you want, really. I mean, it's up to you. You gotta watch my chat because I can't see it. I'm doing this. <laughs> Alright, so, um, gonna remove your little detents and your selector switches. You've just been upgraded to Lord. I've been upgraded. Who's been upgraded to Lord? You. Lord Guido. Oh, I've been Lord for a while now, apparently. Um, 
they don't mean different type of lord. Alright. Uh, Nini, could you pass me a Allen key of roughly that size? There's a pile in front underneath the snakes. Why do you keep burying everything underneath snakes? Um, tactical snakes. These ones. Oh, they're not snakes, they're starburst. Oh, they're I want them. I want starburst. I've what are these ones? I've got lots babies? of snakes. Starburst babies. Pardon. That one. Is that alright? No? Yes. That's the one I need. I just need to hold the one on the bottom so that it doesn't spin. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> All right, so you're like more famous than I am. I mean, I'm not really famous, but you're way more famous. You're infamous. You're infamous. I'm annoying. Uh, I can't argue with that. Really? Alright. One more of these. Now, I'm gonna... Actually, I should be able to just take this off. I was going to take the stock off, but then I thought that's too much effort. I could probably just take this out, out without removing the stock. It just sort of all comes off. There we go, like that. Alright, so... I'm, I'm guessing the problem is here. Let me get the B cam in place. No, the B cam's not in a good spot. Maybe the B cam needs some height. There we go. Let's go with that. We see that. All right, I'm expecting that the gear in in there is is toast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the uh, I'm gonna pop this switch out first. And a little bit of masking tape there. Stripped gears, Grand Lord Potato. Crack this box open and take a look inside. I'm just going to remove that bit. So, what's everyone? What day is it? Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? It's been all day. Yeah, I don't know what day it is. I just, I just, I just hide in a hole. I don't see the sun. Is this a vector? It is indeed a vector. That's no, a paperweight. Uh, it's a, yeah, well, it's a, it's a pretty paperweighty vector. Um, it is a vector that has a few mods to it. But um, one of those mods is a 1.4 millimeter spring, which is a 14 centimeters on the Loguido scale. I like that people are starting to use my scale now and, use, and referring to it as the Loguido scale. Seen that pop up a couple of times on social media when measuring springs, because I don't know. To me, that means a bit more than just the diameter of the wire. Oh, that's 
asked Nini what cooties she gave Brad. Be careful. It's all right. I've got a I got a strict no contact policy in the workshop. Hey, hey. Get out. I um. I have a uh, I have a three year old, so I'm used to telling people to put that down and don't touch that. No, not over there. Uh. All right, so could you locate for me in that big box of gears over there a set of nylon-ish stock vector gears? See if you can work that one out. What's a stock vector gear look like when oh, it's at home? You can just randomly place place parts in front of the camera. What was that one? Oh no. That's a bevel. Um that looks correct. That actually no that actually is a, a stock vector bevel. Win cool. For the yep. Win. Um, probably want more bits. Well, I'll probably need a sector as well. I'm just guessing at this point. I haven't taken it apart yet. Um oh soldering iron. I find that this is easiest to just desolder this um, motor wire with the with the vectors. This seems like cool stuff. Yeah, that's my cool stuff box. I can hear I can hear a three year old coming down the stairs. Um, could you? <gasps> Hello. You got the play doh? No! Can you just put Rose's play doh into the container? Okay. Oh, I'll pack up the play doh. Okay, no problems. Alright, dad life. <laughs> pack up the play doh. See, that's, that's yeah, situation normal. I get, I get told what to do by a three year old. Pack up the play doh. Just put some Play-Doh in, in the vector. Put Play-Doh in the... Maybe I could put Play-Doh into the vector. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be cool. You never know when it's going to come out. You need some metal ones. Um... I could put metal ones in. Motor setup is the one thing I don't like about the vector gearbox. It is a bit of a pain having to desolder it, like... But having said that, I'd much rather have solder on the, on the thing on the terminal than those little clips that come off like in the Gen 9 because you got to take them off to get I hate them because they fall off like mid game you'll have one fall off and you'll be like oh what happened alright so that's that's good that's good that's good what's in it strip yeah, yeah, or at least nothing obvious. I'm seeing an obvious stripped gear. So the gears actually look like they're in quite good condition. So Not what I actually first suspected. So, what I will do then is I will pop the box back on and I'll have a look what I actually is doing wrong here. I'm just going to take this. That's a lot of what's I'm I'm like way behind on the chat by the way, I can't I can't see it. Can't multitask. I can't I can't read it and 
look at gearboxes at the same time, unfortunately. Um, so where are we at? What, what, are, what are people speculating? Speculating? Vectors of pain in the ass to work on? Um, yes. But. Someone's buying a shitload of stuff on Thursday. You just dropped something? I just dropped something. It's alright, it's on the floor behind me. It was a screw. Ground hall potato <laughs> wants a new spring for his M24. Uh, yeah, don't we all? No more screws to fall out? Okay. Put the screw loose. Alright, okay, see what's going on there. Are there any restrictions on the type of materials that gel glasses can be made of? Because I haven't seen any made of metal. Um, that's a legal question that has no real answer. I can't answer that. Um, uh, yeah. The, 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 the correct answer is there is no answer. Because there are no laws regarding gel glasses because... They haven't written any laws since something like 1996 or something in terms of firearms and they haven't amended the current laws to suit anything that is gel blasterish so they're just kind of making it up as they go along right now. So it's in the court's hands. Alright, I'm just going to pop couple of screws into this gearbox so I can find out what it isn't doing. It isn't working. Hmm. How do you accidentally purchase a vector? Accidentally purchase a vector? Third vector was accidentally purchased. I accidentally buy gel glasses all the time. Alright, so I'm just gonna, just gonna move this back here. I'm just gonna run it. He's got no idea either. I may or may not have got an ACR. You may or may not have got an ACR? I thought about buying an ACR. Um yeah, it's a good blasters. Like. Well, you can play with mine. Alright, so I'm just going to run this again, see what happens. Alright. No one needs four vectors. Oh, interesting. Single fire. And it's working now. So you've just got a touch blasters and they're fixed. It's the best. touch and they're fixed. I have a feeling that it's something it was something perhaps something to do with this switch wasn't maybe the switch wasn't seated correctly here and it might not have been might not have been hitting correctly. I actually thought that the, the thing might have been stripped. Because usually when that thing just continu continuously spins, it'll actually run the plunger up and down too, uh, because it's uh, it'll just keep firing. But it wasn't it wasn't running the plunger. It wasn't engaging the the sector wasn't engaging the plunger. So I don't know um, why that was not working. But it is now working. So. Um, I guess, well, that was a boring video. I just had to take it apart. The man's a legend. I just take it apart and it's 
fixed. All right, whatever. That happens sometimes. Frictional polymers. I'll, I'll put it down to frictional polymers. Uh, now I'm just going to whack it all back together and see that it still works when it's all back together. That was a boring video. I just wanted to do a live stream because Nini was here and Annoying, yeah. seemed like a good thing to do at the time. And what kind now, of paint should you use on a blaster? Um, I I'm not a painter, so like I don't really know the best paint. But I have used Rust-Oleum on my blasters, and that seems to work. Wait. So what's your stop buying from Kmart? Huh? Is it Kmart paint? <laughs> This came out so rust oily. I got it from Bunnings. Um, that is not a shout out to neither Bunnings nor rust I am not affiliated with any of them. Just saying. Uh, Jason wants to know whether to get the ACR or the M4SS next. ACR. I mean, unless you really, really want an M4SS. The M4SS is a, a great blaster in theory. But it, it it's let down by crappy electronics and that you can fix and um, and loads and loads of little plastic pieces to disassemble. Um, the gearbox is like pretty much everyone uses the um, the M4 SS gearboxes in all their Gen 8 blasters. Because Jingming was dragging the chain on actually releasing a uh, nylon uh, gearbox, so all the nylon gearboxes that everyone buys are usually from the M4SS because it came with a nylon gearbox stock and it also came with a fairly decent motor stock. Uh, so yes, most people use them. So clearly the gearboxes themselves are, uh, are good, the motors are good, and the wiring is not that good. The MOSFET is a bit poor. It didn't seem to take much to talk him into buying it. Yeah, J10 is J10 is a much better blaster than the M4SS. Like, it just is. Um, I think the M4SS has its place. Because, I mean, like I said, the gearbox and... I love the Gen 8 gearboxes. Uh, but um, do you know if there's any shorter outer barrels that the standard length for the M4 J9? Shorter barrels for the Gen 9 M4. I have a four-inch handguard and would really like a shorter outer barrel. Um, shorter outer barrel. Can't you just cut one? I don't know. No. I got the I got a tactical snake in my mouth. I got the shortest out of barrel possible right there. Look at that. <laughs> That's so short. It's all about the size. Um it's not about the size. Blows up, Yogi. Agenda Looking forward to the J11 Tactical AK that's coming out. Do the Gen 9 MP5? Um, MP5 Gen 9. There's a you can put an MP, you can put a Gen 9 into an MP5. Guess what's what, coming to your place? What, are, what, what's, what are you reading? What comment are you reading? Uh, no 77s. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Um, yeah, Gen 9 MP5, yes. I, I was going to say, I, I know of someone who's, who's doing a Gen 9 MP5, and, and that would be him, yes. <laughs> I want to see it. Shouldn't you be at work? All right. Um, I left-handed thread for a silencer attachment. 
Yeah, that, that little one that I just had in my hand. It was the left-handed thread. See? Oh, thread there. Anymore. And it's thread there too, see? Threaded. Threaded. So you can you can literally get these in any size. It's it's uh, there's no technology in an outer barrel. Um, it's just a piece of metal with some thread cut in it. Just as long as the hole in the middle of it's the right size, that's all that matters. Is the tactical AK forty seven? Looks pretty good. Sure, it's full Marauder. I haven't seen the uh, the uh, AK yet, the new one. I've sort of seen like you know those pictures that are on the internet, but I haven't actually seen it in real life. Can you put an aftermarket metal fishbone on the M401? So if so, is it difficult? Welcome to my life, Nini. This is this is my life. Well, so I didn't pay for this. All those questions, like my blaster's making this noise. What does it mean? That's like that's my entire life, always. All day, every day, I'm, uh, I'm fielding these questions. Yeah, but you should be able to do mods quick now. Just touch them, and they are blessed and ready to go. I don't like. I, I don't. I honestly don't know why this all of a sudden started working. Let me just. Um, I'm just gonna now that the gearbox has got screws in it and stuff. I'm gonna whack this in here. Why are typing so fast? I could read them. And then I'm going to pop this one here. Do you leave the spring loaded by running over the barrel off when using the shorter barrel? What? Do you... Do... What? Do you leave the spring loaded bar running over... Oh, the spring loaded bar. That's called a, a gas tube, if you want to get technical, even though it's got no gas in it. Um, do you leave it there? You can you can throw that in the bin because blasters don't need gas tubes. <laughs> well, the spring-loaded bar actually on the ACR is. You, we're talking ACR, or are we talking? I've got no idea. I've lost the Sorry, same yeah. conversation. You, you had one job, Nanny. One job to you follow the chat. Me, actually, you're paying me in follow apple the cider. Chat. Sweet. Pay you in apple cider. Yeah, you said you were bringing a six-pack. What happened? I drank it. Oh, man. One job. Any shotguns? Any shotguns. Oh, the old mod's not doing theirs now. Yeah, I heard. I saw a post on the face page of things. Can you pass me that roll of solder? You're going to try soldering. Oh, no one can solder as good as you, Nini. You're the best. I like to solder things while I'm working on them. And now we have a close-up of your watch. Oh, cool. Cool story. Uh -huh. Maybe I should swap to the top camera. That's always fun. You watch me burn my fingers. If you call that medic, I can't guarantee to help you. Soldering or something? Oh, that's normal. Uh, apparently, you're the man. HK416 2.5. Is that a question or a statement? Yeah, the 2.5 is awesome. It's a big bag of awesome. It's a big bag of the most awesome. Alright, here we go. So it would appear, it would appear that there's some sort of, 
Something's not not behaving with the um, switch here. So it's in single fire. So it should fire one shot, right? It did. Put it in burst, it should do three. Ooh. Why does it only do two when I let go of the trigger? I thought it just did three no matter what. That's four. No, that's three. Count them. Oh. Tack, tack, tack. Three. One, two, three. But if I just pull the trigger short, it only does two. Oh, I only even one. one. I actually think that maybe it's the MOSFET that's uh, malfunctioning in this or misbehaving because that, even if you just give it a short burst on, on it's my head in shot. <laughs> Things on the YouTuber say, it's my head in shot. Uh, even if you only give it a short burst, it should still do the full three shot burst. Will we both be at an um, upcoming blaster event? What event? I don't even own a blaster. Blaster is lagging. <laughs> both be at an upcoming event. Nini will, and I might be, but you won't know who I am, because I'll just be some dude that no one knows. I'll write you out. No. no, when people know who I am, like I've got game footage of, of an event I went to where people knew who I was, and the strategic move of the other team is kill Guido. I everyone, can that. Everyone kill Guido. Make sure everyone get Guido. Or if it's not if it's not kill Guido, it's like get somewhere near or around him so that you, I get into his YouTube footage. That's basically that's basically the um the uh that's that's what happens. So when people know who I am, it just it just ruins my game. <laughs> it ruins my game. Well, we did put you on the bad team and just shot. Yeah, the you, yeah. Everyone put they put me on the bad team. The, the ba baddies. Everything we were shooting at you. you Can't say bad team. That's a bit rude to the people who were on the other team. But the the team... I don't know. Whatever. I was on the team that was... Getting slaughtered. The team that basically none of my other colleagues were on. And then they were just like, take out Guido. Tactical move. Take out Guido and then his videos will suck because they'll all be like 30 seconds long of him starting the game and then calling out hit. Well, no one knows who you are. No one knows who I am. No one does. Uh, yeah. Yes. There you go. Was <laughs> too clear. <laughs> yes. People, um, I don't know. They either, they either want to be on YouTube or they don't want to be. It's like they either they're hanging around trying to get in the shop, or they're running away going, "Don't film me. I don't want to be on the tube tubes." So um, you've got snacks. So this thing seems to be working okay-ish. With the I, I don't know if this fat boards um if it's the if if it's functioning correctly or. If it's having a mild conniption, um, we gonna just put this back in and put this back together. And yeah, you want to put that in it? Put I kind of want to put that in it too. We'll put that in it. Would that fit? Where's that gonna fit? Don't put it on the camera. People can't know my secret. <coughs> Oops. Fit there. Actually, it would probably fit up here. Oh, it fits there so good, doesn't it? That's actually pretty good, and the wires for the motor are right there. It's going to require more solder. I'll get the band-aids. So, that's actually a pretty good idea. 
question about the battery uh, Where's the Where's the battery come in for this board? It comes into there. That's easy enough. I can do that. Have I done anything with the MP7? Uh, not the new one. I haven't even seen the new one. I, I, I did a little of the old MP7. Uh, it, it had one of those old inline gearboxes that wasn't real crash hot. Um, but but yeah, I uh, haven't I haven't done a lot with it. It's one of those ones I sort of I got really excited about the M first MP7 I had, and uh, it was cool. And then a whole heap of better stuff started coming out. Like the evolution of gel blasters is phenomenal. Um, the rate at which we are getting better stuff, like uh, last year, the I remember like, I remember when the Scar V2 came out, and I was like, "Whoa, this thing is awesome!" And then like shortly after, there was something else better, and then something else better, and but just because a new blaster comes out, it doesn't write off all the old blasters, because like you know the 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 V2 Scar is still a good blaster. Like there's still heaps of people out there that are very competitive with their V2 scar. <coughs> humble, humble, humble with the humble. Humble's coming for a visit. Humble's not here. Humble should have been here. Humble so, didn't want to go to Queensland. Um, humble should want to go to Queensland because that's. Yeah, but the person at the airport said, "Don't even think it." Well, you don't fly, obviously. You yeah, ship, ship humble, and then fly up yourself. Humble might be going to Eastern Predator, along with Ultimate. Um, I was gonna go to Eastern Predator, uh, and then there was something in my calendar around about that time, which made me think that I wouldn't be able to make it. Blue motor and. Contact cement. What are we talking about? MP7 as well. Yeah, I, I like I said, I still haven't seen the new MP7, so I'm, I'm I, I don't know right now. Uh, the blue gel's bad. I heard from some dude they are known to destroy blasters. I don't think there is any gel that that destroys blasters. I didn't think they could. I don't know that that's. I use blues in some of them. I think the blues are okay um, in terms of all of the colours. Uh, basically, my opinion is that Milky is the only gel ball worth getting, but that's because of what I do. If you have a stock out of the box blaster that's literally like, you know, you just took it out of the box, the blues and the orange work really well. Like, But as soon as you start hotting them up a little bit, then you sort of got to use Milky's or nothing. Is there a silencer attachment that attaches onto inner barrel grub screw? Is there a silencer that attaches to an inner barrel? I, I haven't seen one. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh yeah, you think we should go on a road trip? Road drive, trip? Drive up. Um, I probably still wouldn't drive with my blasters just because that seems like fun. So. <laughs> Where I am, and where Queensland is, has between <laughs> between them, there is this huge amount of New South Wales, and New South Wales are a bunch of people who don't take kindly to gel blasters. So I don't want to go anywhere near that area uh, if I can avoid it with gel blasters. That's for sure. We need, we need a lot more boogie birds. <laughs> Nene needs a bigger boogie bag. Is it worth getting the M20? Can you leave Giles in a, you know, for a long period of time? Is it, have, you, have, have you guys seen the video? Like, where's the video? I don't Hang on. Like, I've got gels that have been soaking for a year. Really? Mm -hmm. we got to we got to go to the to the close up camera for this. So these gels have been soaking for a year. 
That's disgusting. <laughs> Do you want to smell no. it? No. Smell oh. it. Look at this. Uh, where's the camera lens? There. Look at that. If only you guys had smell of vision No, you do not want smell of vision right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's horrid. They stink and they are like a big goopy You know you're supposed thing. to change the water. Ch I don't change in the water. Well, not now. I'm just like they are one with the water now. Like, they're not... Uh, most of them aren't even balls anymore. It's just a big mess of... Let's try them. ...sloppy... You want to try them in your blaster? I think they are actually... Like, they're de decomposing in there. They're just... Whatever they're doing, they're... Then we'll throw them in the desert eagle. No, not my deagle. It's already scratched. Um... Oh, that's not the camera angle I want. I want that one. Alright, yeah, so... Um, yeah, don't soak your gels for too long. They are really low quality gels, by the way. They're just a bunch of all random different colours. Um, yeah. Oh, I agree with sarcasm gaming. Snipers are useless in games. Uh, Unless everyone's got them. I, I agree with bolt action. Yeah, for sure. DMRs, however, DMRs are useful. Oh, no, well, you were asking, uh, Snipers, uh, like the M24 is, it's like it's it's fun for shooting cans in the backyard, and that's about as far as it goes. Um, okay, that's cool. I just made someone sick. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was pretty. It, it was it was a pungent sort of aroma from those gels. Tactical oi? Tactical snake. I like the I like those starbursts, they're pretty good. Um Tactical strawberry? Strawberry, nice. So hmm, I'm not sure what the deal is with this vector. It might need a new MOSFET. I mean it I still thought works. You thought you were putting it in. No, I'm not. Change my mind. Not in a live stream. I don't want to do that one in private. That's just that's a secret thing that I don't want to harp on about. I'll, I'll just put it back right down. It. Yeah, it's gonna. It's look. It it's untested, so I don't want to. I don't want to make wild claims before. I'm gonna be one of those people that's like, I can do this and that and yada and and it's completely untested so until I actually have results and metrics, I'm not saying a thing. Been out for a while, but can you get in Queensland? Can you get what in Queensland? <laughs> can you get in Queensland? Oh can you get in? Yeah, they they block Nanny at the border. <laughs> No, I got in. I spent all weekend up there. Don't eat a bad gel. No, I don't eat those gels. I'd probably say don't eat gels in general. That's probably good advice. Oh, I have. I, yeah, no. Um, yeah, so... This blaster's a bit of a, an odd one. Oh, well, let's that was fun anyway. Why Thanks are you for let's, let's continue on with Umpy. You want to continue RP? Um. And the, the crowd go build, 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 build. Um, I do have lots of other work to do. That's important. You know, important work. What's more important than the ultimate RP? Um, I don't know. I've got like, I'm about, I'm about nine builds behind at the moment. So, there's other people relying on me to build glasses for them and stuff like that, fix them for the next skirmish. Well, it doesn't take long to fix them, look what you did. Yeah, I know. Looks like some sort of magic shit happened just then. It's because I'm here. Of course it is, that's what it is. I need you here all of the time, so that every time I fix a blaster it's as smooth it as works. this. 
Um, Write your top five blasters, please. Top five. Umpy. Umpy, yeah. Umps up there. Uh, HK 416D. Definitely. Oh, definitely. If we're talking out of the box, that thing's amazing. Um, the vector out of the box is amazing. How did you get these all stuck together like that? Melted. Now I've got to talk with a mouthful of TV snap. So, um, top five. Okay. Real quick. UMP 45. HK 416D. ACR. Vector. Um, I'm going with Scar because I still like it out the box. Gen 8 M4A1. Scar. <laughs> Scar Gen 8 M4A1. Had to make custom nipple. Well, that's got to hurt. Um, you totally got a, a APS gearbox in your m 401 I totally got one right here. Yes, yeah, Can I shoot scar. something? Not me. Oh! It's loaded. Put it that way so they can see it. There you go. I just shot the shit out of my little container over there. Yes, it's got an APS in it. Yes, Shh. it does work. Shh. <laughs> can you say not to spill secrets? Yes, yeah, I haven't released the video yet. <laughs> shh. I still want to know if it's a short out of the Um. Where do you get a short outer barrel? AliExpress. It's a treasure trove of delicious goodness, that place. I can put links. Uh, I might even, if I can find a link to one, I mean I have to do a bit of a search and whatnot, but if I can find a link I might put one in the description of this video when I've finished putting it up there. How does that sound? I'll try and do that for you. If I find one, I mean I'm not guaranteeing anything because I know they're available but uh, I, just, I just don't know off the top of my head who's got them. You have, you've got one. What would you upgrade in a 416D? The gears. I would... Um, is it a gamble buying APS? Are they really... Look, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy one again after all the freaking BS I've been through trying to get that one to work. And like, let's be honest, I'm still not 100% happy with it. Like, it is working, but I'm not, I'm not 100%. I, I, I think it could be better. And it's not because it's a bad gearbox, it's because it's an airsoft gearbox and it just there's just too many differences between Joel and Airsoft. Even though they're so 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 similar, there's literally millimeters of difference. So they're they're so close but but those couple of millimeters just make all the difference. Is it gel blast a day in ACT or what? Yes. Um, yeah. Is that, can we declare that a public holiday? Well, I didn't go to work today, so yeah. Um, I mean, I was stuck here, but Well, I'm, I'm not at work today either, so. Oh, I guess, does this count as work? I guess it does. No. I am at work. You're not getting paid. You're not getting paid. <laughs> Our blast is completely illegal in New Zealand. Um, the police don't like them. Let's put it. <laughs> the it police like, don't want you to have them. If it looks like a real gun, it's a real gun. If it doesn't look like a real gun, it's airsoft. That's how they think. If it looks like a real gun, it's a gun. If it doesn't look like a real gun, it's also a gun. If it vaguely sometimes smells like a real gun, it's a gun. If it's a stick shaped like if a real gun, if it's a stick that's shaped gun. like a gun, it's a gun. 
if it's got a cousin who once knew someone who also knew someone who was a gun, it's, it's a, a gun. gun. That's a gun. Yeah, if you point your fingers like this in New South Wales, that's a gun. That's an AR-15. That's an AR-15, that's correct. Um, oh, there's, there's a familiar name. Hello. I suppose. Hey, Jeff. Shouldn't you be at work? No, he's on holidays, aren't you? Oh, he's on holidays. He's going where I just came from. Oh, right, eh? Rock on. Um, I don't... I, I don't know what was wrong with this blaster, Jeff. He fixed it by touching it. How cool. I took it apart and just sort of messed around with it and put it back together and it worked. And I can't explain it. I touched your blaster, Jeff, and it's all good now. I blessed it. Movie world, right on. Did you go on the Superman escape? That's legit one of my favourite um, rides of all time. Does it still exist even? Like What movie world or the world? The Superman Escape ride. That movie world. Does it still exist? Because I know they, they sort of change rides and names and stuff every now and then. That's what I should have done while I was up in Brisbane. Called a movie world? Blasters. Yeah. I didn't go anywhere other than Blasters. You just spent the whole week end in Armoured Heaven? Pretty much. Oh, look, I'd, I'd do that if I was up there too. I what? took over the store. Yeah. I probably would too, although they'd probably put me to work out the back somewhere fixing blasters. Would oh, you? Yeah. That's sweet. That's what generally happens everywhere I go. Your patch is there now, so you're affiliated. I go to a, I go to a, a, a like a event or whatever, and then I'm all of a sudden fixing everyone's blasters that they've just broke. <laughs> no, nah, she's still playing up. You know what I think? I think it's the, I think it's the MOSFET. I think it's the MOSFET. Definitely better. There's something, there's something a little bit weird going on inside there and it might need a new MOSFET. Because I do sometimes get a three-shot burst from from a single trigger pull, and that three-shot burst yeah, it's an electronic issue. Um, it's not a gearbox issue, which is weird. You have to refer it to another department. Well, I mean, those MOSFETs are so cheap and non-repairable what? oh those ones yep oh these ones these ones I'm just saying they're like they're not designed to be repaired that you just chuck another one in um yeah it's not a mechanical it's not a mechanical issue it's it's definitely a um electronic some sort of electronic thing cause that doesn't have a battery in it. Um, yeah. So I have not fixed this blaster. It's just needs Roger. needs a something more. Probably a FET. I'm going to say. I hear that there's a couple of generations of um, different FET boards for the for the Vector. Um, it works though. The blaster still works. It's just a little bit. Uh, not, it's not ideal obviously having a couple of shots when you pull the trigger for single shot. Although realistically, I think I just go full auto all day anyway. So. Oh, well, you better tell Jeff it's extra because I'm helping. Just message me the price. All right. Um. I'll give you my cut. What's this? I turned into a knight. Mode CQB rifle with the PVS clone. It's pretty sick. I like my PVS, although that's another thing. I took the PVS to a to a um 
a skirmish one time at night and everyone took that as Gui- Guido's got night vision, kill Guido. Yeah, I that's pretty much it. It was, it was Every- just you against all of us. Yeah, that was the game. It was like, look, new game. Everyone versus Guido. Yep, yeah, that was good. It was not good. It was, it was not a fun game. Like, it didn't last very long because I was well, we couldn't find literally you. shot in the first, I don't know, few minutes. Although, I, I, did, I, I did have a pretty good hiding spot. No. All right. I think I think that's probably not what we're waiting for the barrel. Alright, I think um I'm gonna call it a day on that uh, on that live stream. You need to know any new screen for the mag release doesn't fit anymore. Any suggestions where I can buy a high tensile wire for it? The spring for the mag release. Um the what these this thing. This one. Is that the one? Let me Work it onto the close up camera. This one, that the one you're talking about? Mag release spring. Every past two I'm so behind on the chat that I don't know what's now the wire that pushes the mag release the wire. Oh in the vector. Dude, I got no idea. I got no idea where you get one of those from. Um, yeah. Bunnings. Yeah, it doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, I don't. I've got no idea if because someone asked me that before. It was like they lost theirs, and I'm like, I yeah. No idea where you get another one. That's why I pay special attention not to lose it. It is sort of just like a straight wire with a bend on it, but it's like some sort of spring. Yeah, so you should have watched my video of how to fit the blackout kit, because then I would have said, don't lose this spring. Or we just give it to you and you do it. That was easier for me. Um, yeah, but if you've lost the spring, you can't give it to me to, for me no, to no, do no, it. No, 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 just give it to you to do the blackout kit. Oh, that works too, I guess. Um... Oh, he did watch it. Who watched what? Oh, you did watch <laughs> 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 Oh, dear. <laughs> I can't help you then. <laughs> um, oh, nerf guns can be good for springs. Nerf guns can be good for springs. Oh, okay, fair enough. I don't know. Didn't know that. I don't know much about nerfs, interestingly enough. My first foray into toy guns was gel blasters. Well, I did have a cap. I did have a cap gun when I was younger. All right. Cheers. Let's get out of here. Where's the stop stream button? Thanks for thanks for joining in, guys. Don't forget, shout me a coffee. Uh, oh, everyone who's in here, who's in here? How many people? We got twenty nine. Hit the fucking like button, like right now. Hit it. Hit the like button just before I turn turn it off. Cause like, there's not enough likes on this video yet. How are you like just sitting here watching for an hour and then not liking the video? Hit like. Do it. And buy a coffee. And buy me a coffee. Otherwise. And buy me a cider. Otherwise, and buy Nanny a cider. Actually, just buy us both a cider. That works. You fuck the coffee. That works. Does that work? Can we do that? Just buy Guido and Nini and subscribe. And if you want to win the Punisher, if you want the Punisher, then do that. Put a comment in the Punisher video. And if you want patches, hit me up about patches because uh, just send me an email, I'll send them out and and yeah. And if you're hardcore, you're just gonna tell They're awesome. And or just get a tat of my logo. Either one. Um, Alright, we've got 21 likes. It's 33 people watching now and only 21 likes, so you, we're 10 you likes told down. Me to get off. 10 likes down. Did you like? Well, you told me to get off. Well, you should have at least liked when you were on. Like, you're, you're, here, you're here now. You, you can just hit the like button. 
I'm gonna hit the like button on my own video. Look, I just liked it. I just liked it myself, and now it's like I'm 22 likes. Alright, yep, yeah, cool. Cool story, bro. Mm -hmm. Alright. Can not like to live stream ends, but it will. Alright. Peace out, people. Uh, I gotta find the end stream button.